Hello friends, myself Gaurav Jagdish Patak and today we see the new topic in Applied Thermodynamics that is Conversions in SI engine. For any kind of conversion we know that the most important factor required is oxygen, heat and fuel. One kind of exhaust is the most important after burning process of combustion and among, along with the exhaust few gases there will be the heat dissipation is the final aspect for particular combustion. This is the feedback cycle and heat in the particular regarding point of view of combustion chamber in SI engine and CI engine, heat will be remain into the combustion chamber after burning. Internal combustion engine is run on the basic cycle that is the chemical energy with the fuels, oxygen and the sparking that is heating. which generates the mechanical energy and which is also belongs to electrical energy. The chemical energy is transformed into radiant energy that is light energy and finally it will used in the form of thermal energy that is in the form of heat energy. So we, are, we have to know that what is the meaning of combustion? As per the many discussions and many books written, the process of burning something, it is called combustion. And rapid chemical combination of substance with the oxygen, which involves the production of heat and light, is also called a burning, as per law of chemistry. And what is our thermal engineering that is thermodynamics says that the combustion is the chemical reaction in which the certain elements of the fuels like hydrogen, carbon which combines with the oxygen and liberating, causing increasing the temperature of the gases. That is called the combustion. Now how combustion process is going on? It is the chemical reaction of hydrogen and carbon in the fuels which combines with the oxygen and liberating the heat energy which causes increase in temperature of the gases. The chemical reactions are mentioned in front of your screen with the formulas and the process of combustion will take place. Now as we discuss if there will be the combustion, then there will be the 100% products, byproducts or after burning products from the combustion in which they contain the carbons, hydrogen and oxygen particles which is the byproducts of the combustion are mentioned here. Actually, the fuel used in SI engine is the mixture of heterogeneous mixture and homogeneous mixture. These are the basic formation of any kind of mixture. That mixture components are distributed non-uniformly is called heterogeneous mixture and the mixture in which the components are distributed uniformly are called homogeneous mixtures. As talking about SI engine combustion, in any conventional park ignition system, the fuel and air are the homogeneously mixes together into the inlet system, which induce, which induce through the intake wall into the cylinder, when it is mixes with the residual gases and it is then compressed. Under the normal operating conditions, the combustion is entitled towards the end of the compression stroke and at the spark plug by an electric discharge. 
a turbulent flame develops a turbulent flame develops the conditions for the particular point of combustion what are the necessary conditions for the combustion that is presence of combustible mixture that mixture should be easily combustible that means another requirement or necessity of combustion condition is it means for initiating the combustion and it must be stabilization and propagation of flame under the combustion chamber the combustion is depends upon the rate of propagation of flame front or flame speed the flame front is the boundary or the front surface of the flame that separates the burn charges from the unburned one the flame speed is the speed at which the flame is front is travel combustion is totally depends upon the rate of propagation of flame and front or flame speed the flame front is the boundary or the front surface of the flame that separates the burn charges from the unburn one the flame speed affects the combustion phenomena pressure and power produced burning rate of the mixture depends upon the flame speed and the shape contour of the combustion chamber these are the different flame speed and flame shapes you can see in front of your screen and the burning rate of different types of flame speed as the engine speed increases the flame speed also get increases while plotting the graph of flame speed versus air fuel ratio the gas mixture is going from rich mixture to lean mixture and the tendency of the graph is from topward to downward direction for lean mixture the flame speed have slow speed while for the rich mixture the flame speed have high speed as we discussed the what is the lean mixture and lean uh, rich mixture the the fuel in which the percentage of air particle is more then we can say it as a lean mixture and the mixture in which the percentage of fuel particle is more we can say it as a rich mixture now what are the stages of combustion in an ideal engine the entire pressure rise during the combustion takes place at the constant volume at tdc however in actual engine it does not happens and it will be takes place before the wall opening we can see this topic in detail in the another video that is wall timing diagram now what are the different stages of combustion in a engine it is the point of passage of spark at point a it is the point at passage of spark at point b it is the point at which the beginning of pressure rise and which de detected by tdc at point c the uh, the attainment of the peak pressure and from line a to b which represent the first stage b to c is the second stage and c to d is the last stage now we can segmented these stages into three uh, parts that is ignition lag stage flame propagation stage and after burning stage ignition lag stage is the certain time interval between the instant of spark and instant where there is a noticeable rise in the pressure due to combustion and this time lag is called ignition lag ignition lag is the time interval of the process of chemical reaction during which the molecules get heated up to self ignition temperature and get ignited and produces the self propagation nu uh, nucleus to the flames what is the flame propagation stage the second stage from point b to c the physical one and it is concerned with the sp spread of the flame progression of the flame through the combustion chamber the starting point of the second stage is where the first measurable pressure pressure rise is seen on the indicator diagram that is the point where the line of combustion depends upon the compression line the last stage is the flame propagation stage it is a intermediate stage that is heat transfer to the cylindrical wall is low 
because only the small part of burning mixture comes into contact with the cylinder wall during this period the rate of heat release depends upon largely into the turbulence and intensity also on the reaction rate which is depends upon the mixture of compositions the rate of pressure rise is proportional to the rate of heat release because of during these stages the combustion chambers volume remains practically constant and piston is near the top dead center now after burning is the session that the starting point of the third stage is usually taken as the instant at which the maximum pressure is reached on the indicator diagram the flame velocity decreases during this stage and the rate of combustion becomes low due to low flame velocity and which reduces the flame front of the surface since the expansion stroke starts before these stages of combustion with the piston moving away from the top dead center there can be no pressure rise during this stage you can see in front of your screen different stages of the combustion which can be highlighted with the homogeneous mixture is highlighted with the green color and the red arrow shows the different types that is exhaust wall exhaust manifold spark plug and intake manifolds the different stages under which the engine and combustion chamber moves into the formation of propagation of flame and actual after burning stage will be received into the third point this is all about the combustion stages and different type of things belonging to ic engine combustion thank you friend thank you very much